following program is rated G. Hi, I'm Ken. Welcome to my room and welcome to my channel. Today, we will be unboxing not one, but two Macs. So, yung una ay isang face powder, MAC NC40, at yung isa ay MAC Brow Set Gel para sa kilay. Of course, joke lang. So, MAC meaning MacBook. Unboxing MacBook Pro Intel 2020 4 port and MacBook Air M1. So, maliban sa 4 port siya, mayroon pa siyang ibang differences dun sa 2 port. Buksan na natin itong MacBook Air. So, itong MacBook Pro 3. Sige, let's start from Power Mac Center. Thirteen inch MacBook Pro. Ito yung two gigahertz quad core, five twelve gig, sixteen gig RAM. Tinanggal ko yung price kasi baka magulat yung family ko <laughs> sa presyo. MacBook Pro. So, itong MacBook Pro 13 inches na to. This was announced noong May 2020. Mid 2020 model ng MacBook. Mga 3 times a year. At most, nagre-release ng bagong MacBook. May early. So, I assume that's January to April. Mid, May to August. Late, September to December. Ito yung first MacBook Pro 13 na merong Magic Keyboard. Kasi noong 2016, nag-release sila ng butterfly keyboard kasabay ng 12 inches na MacBook na wala na ngayon. Ang priority that time is mapanipis ng gusto yung MacBook and na-sacrifice yung key travel. Kaya hindi siya ergonomic kasi maganda sa feeling ng finger kapag malalim yung key travel. So ideally, nasa 1mm. Marami pang ibang disadvantage yung butterfly keyboard na mas nag-collect siya ng dirt. Meron lang butterfly keyboard noong 2016 to 2019. Nag-start yung Magic Keyboard sa MacBook Pro 16 inches na late 2019 model ng November 2019. Lahat na Magic Keyboard. So, ang ganda na ng key track. Sige, unboxing pa lang naman sa so, mamaya natin siya buksan. Ang may kita nyo lang naman sa loob, maliban na sa MacBook ay itong charger 61 watts USB-C. Meron siyang 2 meter USB-C to USB-C cable. Ayan. So, ito yung Magic Keyboard. Automatic pala siya nag-on pag binuksan. Trackpad niya, mas malaki kaysa dun sa 2015 and earlier models. Nag-start to noong 2016. Actually, since 2016, wala naman nag-iba sa design. Nag-iba lang yung keyboard. So, ito, yung model na to is 4 port. Meron dito sa left. Meron din dito sa right. Dalawa. Kasama nung 3.5mm audio jack. Lahat na ng MacBook Pro ay mayroong touch bar ay mayroong touch ID. So, maliban sa 4 port siya, mayroon pa siyang ibang differences dun sa 2 port na hindi masyado in-advertise. Dalawa yung fans niya. Yung 2 port na MacBook Pro isa lang. Mayroon siyang woofers, so mas malakas din yung sound niya. Para sa akin, malaking advantage yung apat yung ports. Kasi minsan kailangan mong charge ka dito o yan dito. Depende kung nasa nyo saksama. Ang color nga pala ito ay Space Gray. Dati, puro silver lang lahat ng MacBook Pro. Magkaroon ng Space Gray noong 2016. Actually, itong Pro na to. May in-announce siya, di ba? Nabili ko siya August. Ay, hindi talaga ito totoo ang unboxing. Ginali ko lang siya sa box. In-unbox lang natin kayo. Noong August, yun din talaga yung official release niya sa mga Power Max and Mini. Yung timeline ng dami rin nakapila.
MacBook Air M1. Bagong bago siya. Inannounce lang siya no November 2020. Ngayon din ako na dito sa Philippines. Tapos ito, kahapon ko lang ito nabili. This is for my mom. Sakto, nasa labas kasi ako kahapon. Tapos nag-message yung Power Mac na meron ng M1 na MacBook. Yung mom ko, gusto niya talaga kasi gold. Yun yung most important reason kung bakit mas gusto niya ng Air kaysa sa Pro. Maliban sa hindi naman talaga niya kailangan yung power ng Pro. Kasi hindi naman siya nag edit ng video. Mostly, gagamitin niya lang sa Zoom, sa web browsing, Microsoft Office, mga presentation. Ang ganun lang. So actually, baka over ito nga itong Air. Ibibili na siya dapat last year. 2020 model sabay kami. Pero sabi ko, antayin niya na yung M1. Gusto ko rin antayin sana yung M1, sinabi nga nung June ng Apple na magkakaroon sila ng Apple Silicon. Pero thankfully, wala namang update dun sa 4-port model. So okay, wala namang regrets. Tsaka hindi naman nag-iba yung design. Ito pa rin naman yung latest na 4-port. Wala pa siyang kakalit. Buksan natin itong MacBook Air. Lahat ng Apple device ng mom ko is gold. Yung una niyang watch ay gold. Beyond repair na siya. Aluminum gold. Series 0. Tapos ako, mahilig din talaga ako sa Space Day. Yung una kong watch ay Space Gray. Series 0 din. Hindi na rin siya gumagana. Pero ngayon, gusto ko lang ng iba sa watch. Tsaka feeling ko kasi hindi na tayong best best. Silver. Series 5. Yung phone ko rin pala ay Space Gray. Na iPhone 10. Yung iPad ko din, iPad Pro 2018 ay Space Gray. Tapos yung iPhone ng mga ko, gold din. Yung una niyang iPhone, iPhone 6S Plus, gold. Tapos iPhone XS, gold din. Bibili siya ng 12 gold pa rin. Dimensions niya, yung length tsaka width, exactly the same ng MacBook Pro. So kung flat lang siya, the same color, hindi mo malalaman. Pero malalaman ko sa cross-section. Kasi ito tapered. Manipis siya sa dulo. Pero yung MacBook Pro, pantay lang. Weight nilang dalawa, almost the same. Almost the same size din. Nag-start tong design na to ng MacBook Air noong 2018 na naging kamukha na talaga siya ng MacBook Pro. So again, sabi ko nga, pag open mo, open na siya. Magic keyboard pa rin, touch ID din. Pero walang MacBook Air na may touch bar. So yun na lang yung differentiation ng MacBook Pro. Tapos yung ports niya, yung USB-C dalawa lang. Sa kabila, meron lang yung 3.5 mm na audio jack. Tapos I think same lang yung size ng trackpad. So same lang yung keyboard except sa touch bar. Same na magic keyboard. Tapos, ang difference, yung charger niya, 30 watts lang. So kung mo para natin sa Pro, ito yung 60 watts ng MacBook Pro 13 inches. Tapos ito yung 30 watts ng MacBook Air. May Apple logo yung 61 watts. Almost same lang sila ng battery size. So, mas mabilis mag-charge yung MacBook Pro. Meron din siyang 2 meters na USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Bumili rin ako before ng 30 watts ito. Okay, ito. Bato dun sa kanina. Na nabibili siya ng 2890. Binili ko siya para sa iPad Pro. Kasi yung included sa iPad Pro ay 18 watts. So, ito naman yung ginamit ko for iPhone. Ito, gumagana rin naman siya sa MacBook Pro 13 inches pero mas mabagal lang siya. Pag umaalis ako, ito yung dinag ginagamit ko. Kasi masyadong mabigat yung 61 watts. Unboxing! MacBook Pro Intel 2020 4 port and MacBook Air M1 2020. Palagi kami yung early adapter. Ito, release date. Release date. Pati iPad Pro, release date. December 2000. That's it for the unboxing. So, yun palang yung first part. So, abangan nyo sa part 2 yung comparison. That's it. Thank you very much. Hi, Daddy. Happy Father's Day. I love you very much. What I like the most about you is your pure heart. Your good heart. Not just to people, but also to animals. You take really good care of our pets. And of course us, thank you for your hard work and thank you for loving us all and taking care of us unconditionally. I love you. Happy Father's Day. Hi everyone, we are here to unbox the magic keyboard for iPad. As you can see, this is sealed. I've been looking for this but I think our Mac Center had a hard time having stocks. 
because of the corn. Actually, when we got to the store this afternoon, it wasn't on this way. I just asked whether they had a magic number, and I wasn't really expecting, but here it is. This was announced last March 18, 2020, alongside the newest iPad Pros. Here it is. Oh, very heavy. It looks darker. And it has an apple look. Is it? And of course, the hole is square because of the new camera pump of the latest iPad Pros, which are square. It looks like a real laptop. And it's fixed. It doesn't tilt all the way back. It looks like a real keyboard. And it has a trackpad because iPad OS now supports mouse. Also trackpad. And it has a USB-C pass through for charging so that the USB-C port on your iPad will be free for other peripherals. My iPad Pro is the first generation 11 inch that was released last October 2018. As you can see, the smart keyboard folio is really worn out. That's actually the reason why I want to replace it. It's old. Before we try it, let's compare the two. This new Magic Keyboard is much heavier than this. And the keys are like those of a MacBook. Okay, put this in the box. So let's it for it. Let's see how it floats. And of course, the square hole is too big, but it's okay. AirPods Pro. This was announced last October 2008. Oh, that's a tip So they already included medium earbud, but small and large was included. The included charger is lightning to USDC. USDC lightning. So actually I can charge this using my iPad. We also got a 30 watt power adapter USB. This is included when you buy a MacBook Air. I read somewhere that the maximum charging speed of an iPad is 35 watts. And they could charge it just using this. So it's good to have a 30 watt USB. -C. So I use it for my iPad. That's it, thank you very much. Isa sa advantage nitong 4 port na uh, MacBook Pro. Ang isa pa pa lang advantage nitong M1 MacBook is actually paano talaga tatara. Pero ako kitang-kita ko yung difference. Isa pa sa magandang feature ng M1 aside from faster siya, 